Mason was an extremely happy, joyful baby, and we felt like we had the best kid in the world because he never cried. Not when he was hungry or tired, he just never cried. And we now know there was a reason for that. We didn't become concerned until he was about six months old. He couldn't sit up on his own, started having some feeding issues. Around a year old, Mason had his first seizure. It was a huge grand mal seizure. When we got to the hospital, they ran a, a ton of tests on him. Um, couldn't find a reason for the seizure, but they gave us this checklist of everything that Mason should have been able to do when he was one. And out of about 25 things, he could only do about three or four. So his development delay, the seizure, um, just the, the combination of the two, um, we were referred to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. On our second trip down to the hospital, um, Mason was acting extremely giggly, um, just being super social. And um, she asked, is he always that way? And we said, yes. And she looked on his hand and she said, sometimes when you have something neurologically going on, the lines on your hand, on your palm can be different. So she decided to test for Angelman syndrome. The Angelman syndrome is a, it's just a genetic disorder. And one chromosome, chromosome 15 from his mom was never developed. And that affects everything. It affects your, your, your mental, your physical um, abilities. It has robbed him, basically, of, of a life that he could have had. Um, Mason has seizures. For the most part, they are controlled. But when he does have his seizures, they're about 10 minutes long, and they're grand malls. He has balance issues. He also has a sleep disorder. He doesn't have the ability to speak. Um, he uses an AAC device to talk. And he started using it about the time he was three years old. And in the beginning, it was tough for Mason to understand that uh, this is going to have to be his voice because he doesn't have the ability to speak. I would give anything, I promise you, I would give anything just to hear Mason call me dad. But he can, you know, he can communicate. He's seven and he's never been able to speak Mom, Dad, my tummy hurts, tell us he's happy about something or sad about something. I love you. Um, and with his device, he's able to tell us all of those things because we can actually put those thoughts and feelings on there for him. So he can tell us, I love you. Can you say, I love you? I love you. I love you, thank you. <laughs> he was determined to not let Angelman syndrome affect his life. He rides his own adaptive bicycle. He has friends at school. We're passionate about Mason being included and accepted. I feel like we are able to have real hope for our son. We have an amazing team that have been with us uh, since the beginning and these people are like family to us um, because we spent so much time with them. It made us feel welcome, to be honest with you. It made us feel uh, confident that, that us coming here was a great decision. And Mason would not be where he is today if it wasn't for his amazing care team and his therapist. This hospital means hope for my son's development and, and well-being.